I can feel the tension that's there now. Like for me, where so right now you're seeing, I actually, I had the chart for the full moon, but I prefer to do right now, where are we in this very moment? And we are seeing, when we look here at the sun and the moon, they're almost opposite. So they are going to be opposite when the moon is in 60.6. So when it's the same thing as the earth, because the earth is always opposite the sun. So when, when the moon continues, so at 10 p.m. in seven hours, it's going to be exactly the moment of, of that perfect opposition between the sun and the, and the moon. And if we think back to the great, great conjunction what we had in January 2020, where we had those planets with Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter meeting here in, in, the, in 61 in psychosis, or in 60, I think it was 61, 61. And, they, and Pluto has been kind of going 66 and then back in 61 in, in retrograde. So we can see here in the wheel, Pluto is still here, now in retrograde, and Saturn has moved on to Aquarius and Jupiter has moved on to Pisces. So basically it's happening, but there is something with this full moon. It kind of happens here between um, Saturn and Pluto. This is where it's happening. And I do feel like the sun just went into Leo, which is the self, the self-expression, the joy and the playfulness in your life. And then on the other side, we have Aquarius, which is about the collective, which is about the future. So there is this tension about me, myself, my my life purpose my creativity like me and in my development as the unique being that i am because leo where the, leo is the, the sun is ruling leo so it's how you shine in your life and the sun is there right now so this is really really strong and we had mars and venus we were speaking about it in lunar alchemy just two weeks ago venus and mars met here in leo and it was about it was about I would say pop some of those limitations that don't allow you to be in sovereignty inside of yourself, feminine, masculine, and outside yourself with your partner, with your with, with your relationships in that balance between masculine and feminine. The sun is in here now and it's, it's shining on that. And at the same time, I feel like we're having a bit of a, maybe a fast replay, you know, how you can see your whole life as a movie. Like you can see those blockages that are still there. You can have those limitations that you were feeling last time when we, when these planets were together, the codependencies, the victimization, the psychosis, like all that is being illuminated. And it's going to, we have a full moon in Aquarius and once a year, it's going to be that we can have a full moon twice in the same sign. And it's going to happen now in Aquarius. So the next full moon is also in Aquarius, which means like this energy is going to stay with us. It's going to kind of ask us, <laughs> reflecting things back to us. Are you ready for the future? Are you ready to go out of codependency, of victimization, of psychosis? Are you ready to find a balance between your place as shining as who you are in your own life and from that place being part of the collective? a collective that walks into the future in a powerful way, where old structures are going to have to fall apart because living by those old structures in the 61, that would be psychosis. And we're done with that. That energy has been holding us down now for at least the last year and a half. And there is something where I feel the conjunction we had with Venus and Mars and Leo and now the sun coming in, the individuals waking up. I signed a position yesterday in France where this uh, mandatory vaccination. And I spoke to somebody who lives there this morning who said, you know, we are going to go to restaurants and spend some money because we are after the 1st of August. If you aren't vaccinated, you can't go to a place where there are more than 50 people. So ca coffee shops, no, mall, no, restaurants, no. And, you know, there is something here where the individual is, is waking up and saying, let us sign something. Let us at least have our voices heard. So those tensions are going to be there between the individual uniqueness and be between the collective. And any frustration, blockage, limitation that you have felt for the last year and a half, I feel like these few days when we still, when, when the sun is going through Aquarius, I would say two, two and a half days from now, it's going to probably pull on you. How can we relate with this full moon energy of, of Gene Key 56 and Gene Key 60? Hopefully that's a clear enough way to ask that. <laughs> yeah, I love the question. And I feel it goes back to what we spoke about on Tuesday uh, when we took the, the 
example of relationships. So if you are in a relationship where you feel limited or you are in a society where you are feeling limited, are you going to use distraction in order to run away from that perceived limitation? That's when you are playing with those two gene keys in a shadow frequency and it's perpetuating forever. And the, hard, the more, the harder that the limitations are, the more you're going to distract. So it's not only a downward, downward spiral, but it's like drilling down, <laughs> really. And I, I believe that partly of where we have, and I'm going to just bring it in for like a few seconds, and I'm not going to do a long, long thing. But, you know, I believe that where we are right now in the world, where we have all this turbulence, Pisces, energy of the 36th which is we call it a storm it's like it's really storming and it is also in retrograde so it's to the core to the bone marrow first end of the 36th of suffering it's turbulence it's out there in the world it is further away than maybe what we have experienced at least in our lives we can go back into time and find similar things but that's there's so much turbulence in in the collective and that can veil the truth of things because Neptune is about the veil of things uh, and when there is so much turbulence that can also be a reason for the distraction you know and there is something as well with with what I believe when we look at this chart is a reflector chart there's no center defined when I look at the chart I go to the center and I see the second gene key we spoke about this on Tuesday you have second gene key in a second line with a, sec with a second color. It's two, two, two. It's a very angelic special number where you have this prime feminine, earth over earth, Taurus, you know, the form, the body. It's like, it's very much, I see this, we call it the way shower or the feminine. It's this intuitive, no individual knowing in the moment of what has to happen. So for me, this is what breaks us from that shadow frequency of feeling limited and distracting yourself to becoming, coming back into your decenter, which is what, who am I? Like, what do I stand for? What is love? And where am I going? It's all, it's that center, it's the magnetic monopole. It's like, the, that's for, for, from where you come in the world. It's, and, and when we go back there and we become our own individual way shower, it's like you are in a way breaking out of the limitation because instead of distracting yourself with something, you're coming back into your heart, your core, to your soul. You're taking responsibility for your own unique way. You're not allowing the turbulence, the suffering, the whatever it is. I'm not saying become hard and rigid. No, I'm saying come back to your soul and take in all that, you know, the, the, the Pisces energy, but don't get scared and distract yourself from it, but take it in really like that feminine second jinky would embrace everything that where that second line would marry it all, where that second color is about hope and inspiration and saying, I want to live fully. I'm going to embrace all open G center. It's like, I'm going to be, have many love stories. I'm going to have many, there's going to be so many things to play with. I'll, I'll take it all in. So for me, that's what brings you into the gift frequency of the 56, which is enrichment with saying yes to life in your own unique individual way, showing the way as that with that prime feminine really activated in you. That's where your, your reality becomes magical, which is the high frequency of the 60. It's that magical reality. Where, because it is, and again, the 60, yeah, we are in individual circuitry. It's pulsing. It's you pulsing your own life force up through your chakra pillar, up through you coming out into your life. So it's connected to that too as well. And it's saying, I'm here to mutate uniquely as who I am. And when I take responsibility for my unique direction and my unique mutation, I am going to come from this Leo, unique, individualized, happy, and I'm going to be I'm going to be part of, of a collective that goes in a direction that I trust in completely because I am doing my work. And that's what I feel is the waking up right now, where we are. And then the highest frequency intoxication and what is the 60? What's the justice? justice. You know, that's justice because you, then you can't bitch about anybody telling you to do anything because you're <laughs> completely responsible for that pulse that comes through you and where you go with it. So it takes away this whole we and them and the elections and I don't even know what, you know, it's it, the divine justice comes from you following your life force and your direction every moment, embracing what is, not distracting yourself away from it or bitching about somebody else putting limitations on you.